So I've decided to start a video blog or a vlog, whatever, about my road to 40. Technically, I'm in my 40th year already and have been since I turned 39 in May of 2019. So in, on May 9th of 2020, I am going to be 40. Officially, that will be the end of my 40th year. I'm hoping to, I think I want to, throw a big party and have everybody I've ever known um, come out and celebrate with me. It's a mid midlife thing, I guess, whatever. I don't know. Uh, we're living forever now. So turning 40 sucks for me. If you've embraced it, congratulations. I am so happy for you. Please, please continue on with your fantastic life. I am struggling. I don't like wrinkles. I don't like facial skin issues. I don't like my chubbiness. Um, I don't like that I had a nose hair the other day. Oh, Lord. Whew. Anyway, things are changing. Some for the better, some for the worse. Obviously, my physical appearance, my body is aging, and I'm seeing those signs. I now color my hair <laughs> to cover the gray, not just for fun. Um, I have wrinkles and worry lines and use all kinds of magical potions. I'm actually at my desk. Um, I have started to care less about certain things, like this giant pile of crap in the corner of my bedroom. Um, 10 years ago, that would have bothered the crap out of me and it wouldn't have been there. Today, I'm like, eh, it's not really hurting anything. And you know what? I don't have to climb in the attic to get my crap. So win-win, maybe, who knows? Uh, anyway, I am trying to change those sorts of things. Um, care less about things that don't matter, care more about things that do matter, like time with my children, uh, time with my family, you know, my career, uh, blah, 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 blah. But turning 40 sucks if I didn't already get that point across to you. Um, started out at the end of last year by having some support from my wonderful husband. Um, we've been together for a long time, uh, 12, 13 years-ish. Uh, if you want to know the story of how we came to be, there's another video on that. Just look up my channel and you can go and find it. Um, but we bought my mid-midlife crisis car. It's a Jeep Wrangler. I've always, always, always wanted one. And it really suits my personality. Um, I tease and say a go-anywhere kind of girl needs a go-anywhere kind of car. And, um, and that certainly does uh, cover it. So I have her. She's a pain in the ass. Um but I got her. It was a difficult thing to do because I had a very specific list of criteria that I wanted in this Jeep and I did not, was adamant I did not want a brand new one because they changed the body style in 2018 and I don't like it. It's um, rounded and more new. I really wanted an older body style, but I wanted the unlimited. By the way, that means four. Because uh, I have a family and um, so, but we found her. I, I, I got her. Um, you'll probably start to see her in some photos or something. If you're following me on Facebook, blah, 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 blah. My hair is like falling out. Um, so yeah, we started off December 31st, 2019. We purchased her and brought her home. I'm Nick. I'm, I'm jokingly calling her lady glitter sparkles. <laughs> That's it might stick. Who knows? Um, so I wanted to do this virtual video, whatever blog, and let you guys follow my journey to 40. So I think Sunday nights every week because that is my life. The kids are friendly in bed. The laundry's going. I got a shower today. Woo me. I am in my PJs at my damn vanity desk table thing, whatever in my bedroom. And this is really the only time I have to do this. Um, unless it would be in the car on the way to work. I listen, Life is busy and um, I have a full-time job. I run a part-time business out of my home and I have three kids. I have five kids total, but three kids I give birth to that are here majority of the time. Don't even ask about my crazy blended family. Um, 
So Sunday nights, I'm going to come to you weekly and I'm going to make these videos and kind of going to log my journey. Um, this is really more for me than it is for you, but I thought that maybe it would be good to share this because somebody else has to be going through the same things I am. Somebody else might need somebody to relate to. Um, gotta stick together, girl power. <laughs> um, so I just thought it would be a good idea to share. Who knows how that's going to turn out. And I'm going to tell you right now, the hardest thing about doing this video is actually looking at myself in the camera and not trying to be overly critical of my face. So this is me. Um, clean, fresh hair, no products, no makeup, no nothing. The only thing I have on my face is some moisturizer. Um, this is me au naturel. Um, I thought about coming on and doing all the hair and makeup and looking all fabulous, but listen, nine, no, I'm going to say 80% of the time, this is what I look like because I don't, I, I just, it's, it's fine. It's okay. You know what? Makeup is awesome. And I love how I can be playful with colors and I can change the way my face looks sometimes and things and enhance things like, you know, so you can see my eyelashes, but this is me. Um, this is what I look like. This is who I am. And um, a blank canvas has to be accepted. Um, I'm not going to go into any Confucius, you know, inspirational crap. You can find that on Google. You can, you can Google and, and Pinterest that stuff. Um, but um, I like rubbing my eyes when I'm tired, guys. And I like flipping my hair in multiple different directions whenever I want. And it, it and I like running my fingers through my hair and I like it to feel buttery soft. And um, I like to be able to scratch my face when it itches and rub it and do whatever and not have to worry about smearing anything. So 80% of the time I go makeup free and I'm finding the older I get, <laughs> I think there's a meme about this, the older I get, the more willing I'm to go out in public uglier. So there's less makeup, there's more leggings. Um, I'm wearing flats a lot more. I have actually gotten rid of a lot of my high heels. Um, I actually have a pair of boots right now that I'm trying to say goodbye to because I love the way they look. They're so super sexy, but oh my God, do they kill my feet? Okay. Um, so there's that. Uh, my wardrobe is changing. Um, really going more for comfort and long-term style. I'm getting away from trends. Um, I'm also trying to spend more time with people and less time on mindless things like television, uh, stuff like that. You know, I mean, time is really the most valuable thing in our life. Um, once it's gone, we can never get it back. We can't purchase more of it. Uh, it is a finite resource for us. So time is going to have to be the theme of my 40th year. All the time that's passed and all the time that um, I may or may not have in the future. Time is also unknown. So yeah, um, going to be more about living in the moment, but still planning for the future. <sighs> it sucks. So this is, I don't know, introductory video. This is announcing what I'm doing video. I, I don't know. Um, tell me if you're also turning 40 or if you're also going through anything that I'm going through struggling with aging. Um, again, time, time has, um, taken some souvenirs, uh, from my youth, um, my skin. <sighs> it's definitely part of my body and aging my hair. Uh, it now gets dyed because it has to cover grays. Uh, it's not just for fun anymore. Um, back I actually use moisturizers and they're effective these days and, and miracle creams back when I thought I had wrinkles and was old and they didn't work and I was like all these products suck they didn't suck and ladies if you're 20 something and you're thinking and you're having one of those moments where you're like oh I'm using a product and it sucks no it doesn't suck you probably just don't need it plain and simple 
enjoy your youth um, while you can. And so I don't know if I'm going to put this song on here or, or what, but, um, and that stupid song, what is it? Vitamin C. She did a song with a speech made by, I can't remember his name, but it's called sunscreen. And it was a speech he delivered to the class of 1997, somewhere out in California. And, um, I graduated in 1998 and it was a really big hit. And I've listened to that, that thing, um, at various points in my life. I think the name of her song was called graduation. I've listened to this speech at various points in my life and um, it has had and held different meanings um, once about once every five years or so I guess I listen to it. So when I get off of here, I'm going to turn that song on. I'm going to listen to it again. Um, I would hope that you might do the same and uh, reminisce. Go back, relive, see what it means to you. <laughs> it's definitely spot on. Uh, <laughs> So, this is 40. There's a movie or something. Please don't, like, get on me about copyrights if it's copyrighted, because this is 40 is just a sentence. I'm not going to make any money off of it. Don't worry, Hollywood. Um, I can't stop it, so I might as well embrace it, right? Right. <laughs> 